When you see hair like this and you want to draw it, what comes to your mind first? Is it how you can draw all the rough hair strands? Or maybe how you can get this sweet fade? Well, truth is, I also get very confused anytime I see hair like this. But in this video, I'm going to show you how I make things simple for myself and get a decent looking hair drawing. It all comes down to the foundation. After you have established the basic shape of the hair, you want to try to divide the hair into various clumps. Because the reason you think that hair like this is such a huge obstacle is because of you are seeing the full picture. But when you cut it down to bite-sized pieces, you can now handle the hair drawing section after section. Look at the flow of the hair and divide the hair clumps according to the direction that the hair is going. Now once that is done, we now pick one section of the hair. If you are right-handed, it is advisable for you to start from the left and work your way towards the right so that you don't smudge anything. And the opposite goes for if you are left-handed. So I start off with a very light pencil and for me, that is the 2B graphite pencil. But before I start this, I make sure that the pencil is sharp. Now I start drawing lines. But these are not normal lines. Like I always mention in all my hair drawing videos, you want to do this kind of motion with your pencil, the flicker motion, like you are flicking your strokes. Start from the dark areas of the hair clump, either the top or the bottom, and then flick your strokes towards the highlights in the middle. When you do this, you will just see that the hair will automatically start to shine. Get you and I, both longing for expression for the things we like, but we stay quiet. We stay quiet. Hold me now. Now, after I'm done with that, I take my flat brush and I blend the shading. But I am not just blending every which way, I am blending according to the lines that I have created previously, also creating that flicking motion with the brush. Now, you can skip this step entirely, but I decided to add more strokes with my 4B graphite pencil. But listen closely to this. When you are drawing with your graphite pencils, either with the 2B or the 4B, Make sure that you don't press too hard on the paper. The reason for this is because of the pencil that we are going to use in the next step, the charcoal pencil. You see, charcoal cannot draw on an area where there is too much graphite. So if you have pressed too hard on your 2B or your 4B graphite pencil, you won't be able to create marks or shades with your charcoal. Also, with this charcoal pencil, it is absolutely necessary that you make your strokes as light as possible. Because this is not the final step. This is just another step in the layering process. And so as a result, you want your strokes to be light. But the goal is still the same. We are creating flicking stroke from the top direction and also from the bottom direction so that the middle can shine. After that, we blend again. And now this time we can be brutal. We can press hard with our charcoal pencil to make it dark. Add some variety to your strokes. You can make some thin while others can be thick. Also, don't shy away from making some strokes to cross over the shine. This will also help to make things look more realistic. Don't just limit the strokes to only the dark part of the hair strands. You can also extend it over the highlights. After that, we clean things up by defining the shape of the hair clump. And so we simply follow this same process for the rest of the hair, building each section layer after layer. Wake me up. I don't wanna be here and let the world pass me by. Yeah. I just see her face where ever I look, she's standing in the crowd. So let go, let go. I don't want to, but I'm gonna try when she left me. Yeah, but a little bit inside, you know, you know, maybe things are gonna be alright. So after we have drawn the major hair clumps, you can now start filling in the gaps between the hairs. There are even some places where we just need to shade jet black. But once that is over, we can now get on with the fade. Now this fade is quite tricky. And so to draw a tricky part like this, you need a trick of your own. First thing we do is to figure out the direction of the fade. And as you can see, this is simply going like from top to bottom. But you'll also notice that there is a slight curve in the direction. 
Take note of this because the foundation you set here will determine how the rest of the lines that you draw later on will look. Now when you do that, start drawing short lines. It will be good if you can also flick your strokes from top to bottom while you are drawing these lines. Also, add some variety to your strokes. Some can be long, while others can be of medium height, while others can be very short. I do this with my 2B pencil first so that you know I can test the waters and then I blend and I go full on with my charcoal pencil. If you are using charcoal pencil like me, it is essential that you make the strokes very, very light because you can always easily darken the light strokes at any time but you can never really completely lighten the dark strokes so work in light layers to play it safe. Also, take note of the separation of the fade. You see a demarcation there. This area is where the low-cut side of the hair transitions into the fuller hair. So it is vital that you get the shape of this demarcation right. And now that we are done with the delicate area, the low-cut, we can now move on to the full hair. And in this area, I threw caution into the wind and I just went dark with my charcoal pencil. Because from the reference, you can see that the hair in this area is very dark. So there's no need for us to take it easy. We just need to make sure that we are going in the same direction in which we drew those former shorter hairs. And so now, we have the shorter hairs on one side and the fuller hairs on the other. But you notice that they are not blending well. To blend them well, we need to add darker strokes to this area so that the transition will be very smooth. And after that, we just need to use our brush to blend things. After blending, I keep on adding more strokes to balance things out. And so all that is left for us to do is to draw these hair strands that look like spikes, add the flyaway hairs, fill out the dark areas of the hair, and what we have is a really awesome hair drawing, <laughs> if I do say so myself. 